A member of the military who dies during service is given a burial signifying their heroics. Well, that didn't happen for one man who was killed serving in an all-black unit of paratroopers. Dakari Turner has more tonight from Brooklyn Park. It was 70 years ago today that Private First Class Malvin L. Brown died while serving his country. But largely due to the era in which he served, he wasn't able to be given the proper burial. Well, that happened today. The traditional sights and sounds of a hero's burial. Present. But in the case of Malvin L. Brown, coming seven decades after his death, oh. Brown was an army paratrooper, part of a segregated unit known as the Triple Nickels. He died while on a mission preventing Japanese balloon bombs from damaging the U.S. mainland. However, it was just last year his gravesite was discovered in South Baltimore. We weren't told a lot about the situation. Um, we're learning now that it was supposed to have been a secret mission, so I guess there wasn't a lot of information. Present. During a small gathering of friends, family, and fellow members of the military, oh. Brown was memorialized with a plaque in his honor and an American flag presented to his nieces. It was emotional. Actually, it was um, almost overwhelming. We learned a lot about our relative that we didn't know. The Japanese used the balloon bombs during the war by capitalizing on an oceanic jet stream between the U.S. and Japan. They sent about 9,000 of them, though just a few hundred have been discovered. Brown's call to service was inspired by the bombing of Pearl Harbor. Soon after that is when he went into the service. Just as the Tuskegee Airmen, Tuskegee Airmen broke military color barriers, the Triple Nickel broke through the same barriers to serve proudly as airborne infantry soldiers. Brown died during an unrelated mission, his body sent to Baltimore to be buried. Oh. In this picture, Brown's seen holding his niece, Juanita Hayes, when she was an infant. Present. Oh. Hayes says the only thing missing from today's ceremony, Brown's sister, who a few years ago died and isn't here to see her brother honored. We just appreciate so much all the, the hard work and effort that went into bringing this together. The National Association of the Triple Nickels says they're planning a, another memorial service to take place next month, this time with the remaining members who served with Brown.